Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a day in the life, which is a mix of a bunch of things that um, I do as a small business owner. So sit back and enjoy the ride. But first coffee, am I right? <laughs> I like to start off by reviewing my schedule for the week and seeing what needs to get done. First thing on my to-do is to pull out the rosemary mint shampoo bars that I had made the night before that had been sitting in the freezer um, to solidify them overnight. I also had a few conditioner bars that I had made as well that were um, already ready to go and finished solidifying. So I pulled those out of my basement closet and they will be going on the same drying tray as the rosemary mint shampoo bars. Next up are my lavender cedarwood body butters. Here are all of my tools sanitized and ready to go, which is super important. So now I'm just transferring the base into my KitchenAid mixing bowl so that I can whip it all up. It starts off in these really big chunks, so I use my hardier attachment in order to break it down into a more whippable consistency. As you can see, it's now more like cream cheese instead of big chunks, and I will switch to my whisk attachment from here on out. Body butter is very, very moisturizing, so I add some arrowroot to cut the greasiness. Now I'm going to be adding my essential oils to the mix and as I mentioned before this is my lavender cedarwood body butter so I'm going to be mixing up my essential oil blend for this scent of body butter. To make sure everything is distributed evenly, I constantly scrape down the sides every now and then. I just want to make sure that all the air root and all the essential oils get blended in with the mixture. And look how fluffy it is. This is the consistency that I'm looking for in my body butters. Just really light and very airy and very creamy looking. Yes, it looks extremely edible, but do not eat it. It's not meant to be eaten. <laughs> um, but I really aim for this consistency when I make body butter. It's just extremely whipped up and really, really fluffy so that it looks basically like whipped cream. And look at all of that extra product all up in my whisk attachment. I take a, a while cleaning this out because there's a lot in there. So those who make body butter know the struggle. <laughs>
And look at this mess. One of the downsides of making body butter is the huge mess that you have to clean up afterwards. What I do is I like to wipe off as much of the product off of the bowls and whisk attachments and spatulas as possible so that it's as oil-free as possible. And then I just use regular hot water and dish soap to get all of the body butter off of my equipment. Next, I will be doing a little bit of a photo shoot and showing you guys how I set up everything for my product photos. Hey guys, so now it's the point of the day where I'm going to be taking some pictures of um, a new product that we have that will be available on our Etsy and our website. And I just wanted uh, to show you my process and how I take these pictures. And um, yeah, it's really quite simple. I don't have a professional setup whatsoever. I'm in my mud room, which is the um, brightest room in my house. And you really want that natural light, especially if you don't have a professional uh, setup going on or anything. So here's the model for today, our beautiful pumpkin spice soap, oh, sorry, sugar scrub, and our pumpkin pie, uh, pumpkin pie lip balm, which tastes amazing. I can't get it to focus. Pumpkin pie lip balm and our pumpkin spice soap. Oh, it smells so good. So, pumpkin spice soap. A lot of soapers have a pumpkin spice soap, but ours is a little bit different because we blend a few other things into the fragrance. So, it's pretty unique. And I've been doing that more and more with my company because I'm starting to realize that a lot of soapers have. Um, the same source for their fragrance oils, so I figure one thing to let our company stand out is to have unique scents, so that's what we're doing here with our pumpkin spice soap. There's something a little extra in there, a little something different, so yeah, if you want to check this set out, um, it should be available by the time this video comes out, but yeah, these are our beautiful handmade soaps that I make right here in this house and wrapped with biodegradable shrink wrap using my national shrink wrap system. Look how beautiful this product is. <laughs> so today we are going to be filming, um, it's a, a gift set and uh, this is the setup here. Uh, we have the sugar spice, the sugar spice sugar scrub. Ugh, sorry, I can't I can't talk. <laughs> the pumpkin spice sugar scrub in the middle, the pumpkin spice soap over here, and the pumpkin pie lip balm over here. So I'm gonna spend some time arranging it and uh, making sure it all looks nice because when you're on Etsy or on line or anything, pictures are everything and you really wanna make sure that your setup looks impeccable, fantastic, and uh, beautiful because that is how you're going to get strangers to buy from you. So here is my incredibly professional setup like I was talking about. It is literally just a um, board, white foam board, I guess what it, that, that's what it's called from the dollar store and one of our shipping boxes. 
as a background. And you can see how all this white really makes our product pop and stand out and look super appealing for our customers. And my production assistant is doing a great job. Does everything look good? She approves. She approves. Awesome. So yeah, I'm just going to take a few shots of this and yeah, hopefully it all works out. Last thing I'll show today is labeling my lip balms and the lavender cedarwood body butter that I just made. Um, it's pretty straightforward. I print all of my labels in house, which makes it super easy and um, quick for me. I like to have a lot of control over my labels, so that's why I like to do it in house. And now I'm going to be labeling my lip balms. I have today my pear coconut and bubblegum lip balms that I will be labeling today. And I um, just wanted to point out that all of my labels I've designed on my own and I'm really, really proud of them. I really like the look of the products once they're all labeled. I feel like everything just looks so nice. So it really does 
pay off to put in that extra attention to detail when you're designing your labels. One neat thing that I wanted to share with you guys is a couple months ago, I bought um, 2,500 lip balm tubes. I took the plunge and bought a whole bunch of lip balm tubes in bulk and I just recently had to restock that. So that just blew my mind that I had sold 2,500 tubes of lip balm. That's insane. Wow. Anyone else find labeling things super relaxing? It's honestly one of my favorite parts of the production process is just sticking stickers onto things. It's just so satisfying and so fun. I just wanted to see if any of you guys can relate to that. <laughs> So that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for joining me on my day in the life. I do plan on filming more of these and being more consistent with YouTube. I am so sorry this has fallen off the wagon, but I promise you guys I am back at it and hopefully I will have more uploads for you guys soon. Have a good day guys. Bye.